Oh, whoops. Okay. So I'm Tim Reid. I'm the Greens candidate for Brunswick. In the first question, Rachel asks, how can we ensure that the many voices are heard in the debate on constitutional recognition of Aboriginal Australians? The Australian Greens support constitutional recognition of Indigenous Australians, and our federal counterparts have offered grants to ensure that there's widespread community consultation. Referenda don't succeed unless there's a broad consensus. We hope that enough time and enough inclusion can occur to ensure that this happens. And we hope that a referendum delivers a meaningful outcome for Indigenous Australians. In the second question, Cinders asks, what can we do now that Tony Abbott is dismantling the renewable energy target at a federal level? Well, there's a lot we can do here in Victoria that Tony Abbott can't stop. And this is why I'm standing in Brunswick for the Greens. We want a Victorian renewable energy target to deliver confidence to investors in renewable energy. We want to set up a Victorian solar bank that borrows at low government rates, lends out at slightly higher rates, like the Federal Clean Energy Finance Corporation, to fund large-scale renewable energy projects. We also want a fair price for people putting panels on their roof. At the moment, the panels on my roof sell electricity to the grid at lunchtime for $0.08 cents a kilowatt hour, and I buy it back for $0.20 cents a kilowatt hour at night when I turn the lights on. That's a rort. We want those prices to be equal. And as soon as we see that, we'll start to see a lot more panels on Victorian rooftops. With a bit of luck, we can catch up to South Australia, already generating a third of its electricity from renewable energy. We also want to get rid of the ridiculous anti-wind farm laws, remove barriers to wind farm investment, and with a bit of luck, we'll start to see the rate of electricity consumption falling, and coal will have to phase itself out. The third question by Sean asks about how we can ensure that politicians deliver what they say they will. And we've seen so many times how enthusiasm fades after politicians are elected in areas like climate change. Um, we've seen how politicians cave into business interests on things like gambling taxes, restrictions on poker machines, or even something as simple and no-brainer like container deposit legislation. The Greens want to see a cap on political donations. We've pledged not to accept donations from property developers and we're encouraging other parties to follow suit. We want to see our anti-corruption commission have the power to investigate corruption in state politicians. We want police to be able to investigate state politicians rather than other politicians. You can see more details on these and the other questions on the greens.org.au forward slash vic website. But for a local member who stands up for your values and not those of their donor, perhaps it's time to vote Green in Brunswick. We only need one in 30 people to shift their vote in Brunswick to get the first ever Green into the lower house of the Victorian Parliament. And I hope you'll consider that on polling day. Thank you.